All right, so the other day when I first got Shadow, when I turned the hose on, he was a maniac. He actually uh, was getting ready to go into attack mode on me. Only be, not because he's aggressive, but because the hose made him so fearful. So here's Shadow and here's the hose right now. This is after a couple days. So you see how uneasy he is. I'm okay with that because what will happen is these other dogs that don't really care about it, see how he's trying to find a place to hide? Well, the other day he was trying to play, find a, a place to attack. Hey! Hey! Easy! So again, I don't want to move the hose away. Hey! So here we go. So now I'm able to kind of control it by using words. So I don't want to scare him with it, but I definitely want to present him with it. And I also do a lot of watering here because all the pee and everything. Uh, hey! So here we go. Shadow! So now you're just kind of avoiding it, right? So he's here. Nobody else is over here, so I'm going to go ahead and water this plant. And I'm sure it's been dead for a couple years. So we'll see his reaction to it. Alright, so I'm not doing anything other than presenting the water to him. Alright? So his MO is he'll get excited, then he'll get aggressive. So see how he's running around? That's a nervous kind of tick. We have to be able to acknowledge that. Hey! So I need to control that. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the water here. And start to control that. Hey! Easy. So now I'm going to block his path. Until he can slow down a little bit. Hey! Now I turn around. So now I'm watching him. He's still standing there. So now I'm going to bring the hose back. So we're slowly working out this issue. We're fixing it. We're not just kind of putting a band-aid over it. You know, I'm not going to give him a treat for his behavior right now because he's not attacking me. A lot of trainers will. Hey! Again, it's about controlling that. Uh, it's hard to do it with one hand. So again... I want to walk near him. Again, I have the hose off right now. Old school method. <laughs> Again, we want to be able to see his body language without the hose. And then I want to add the hose and see how the change is. Perfect. So because there wasn't really a reaction, I want to make sure he's not hiding behind there. Because I do have the hose going right here. I feel like he's doing the same thing he was before the hose is on. He is kind of in a hiding state. Look at that. He's coming out. So now, the exercise is over. I'm done. I'm going to turn off the hose here. Oh, it scored me. And now I'm done. So, the big deals were... There. See how the leash slows him down? Especially in a situation like this where he has exhibited in the past... Um, I would say extremely, it's not aggressive, but definitely reactive behavior regarding the hose. And so now, hey, he hasn't. And again, we also just brought in two new members of the pack here. We got Avon and Blue, which are brothers. Red Bull. Hey, easy. So we're also, so they yeah, got two new dogs. He got the regular pack. And then we're adding the hose to it. So we're, we're, we're kind of getting... Oh, excuse me. We're gonna kind of get him on different levels, different um, kind of angles as far as whether he's curious with the new guys, whether he's playful with the guys he's already known, and with the hose that he's either been nervous of or reactive to, and he's handling it all very well. And again, this is this is the first day I presented the hose with other dogs around because I didn't want his reaction. I didn't want other dogs to react to his reaction to kind of calm him down. So now I, I feel a lot better with the hose. And so now we can kind of go right back to it. Let's see here. I'm just going to... So you want to see his reaction? So see it? Hey! So now he's listening to my words. That's why at the beginning I, I do my words. So look at this. 
Hey. So you see him staring? Hey! I have to be more intense than that. Hey! No! And so once he backs off, then I back off. No big deal. We move on. But if my intensity doesn't beat his, and you saw right there, where he started at one intensity and he started... Now look it. Ah! I love that. You don't... Words can't explain how much I love seeing him drink that water right now when he was reactive to it two seconds ago. Of course, he's a dog. He's been alive for years. He drinks water. But maybe the association has never been made where, where the water comes from, you know. So this is really kind of cool because what's going to happen is once he hears a hose and once he acknowledges that this is... Hey! Blue! Carly! And this is where the water comes from. That's going to help. Look at that. Nose to nose. Never met before. A little bit dominant. Hey! So I'm going to back him up. Not bad. Not bad though. Not bad. His body didn't move forward, his nose was. See, once he goes like super dominant, his body will move forward. Big difference. Hey guys, Avon! Avon always has his, her, his tongue out. Avon! Look at that. <laughs> always, always, always. And Blue's his, uh, I, guess, I think they're uh, uh, twin brothers or brothers, whatever, from the same litter. So anyway, Spike. Good oh boy, buddy. So if you notice, now he's, he's trotting, playful, you know. So there's a training part. There's a hanging out part. There's a enjoy your time together part. There's different parts of this. So, look at him. Trot, 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 trot. I like that. That's perfect. So now we're going to have some play here. I want to see how he handles it. See if he joins in. So remember last time he played with the dog, but it was only with him and Red Bull right here. The ones that actually look alike. <laughs> so Zoe's trying to start some stuff here. Trying to bite at the foot. Vinny! Hey buddy. Vinny got here because he was so excited. Vinny! Now look how excited he is now. <laughs> Good job buddy. I love Vinny. He's a great dog. So this is Zoe, Red Bull, playing with my personal dog. Avon. Avon's a nervous base. He, he sometimes gets punked by his brother, Blue, which has a blue collar. So Blue has a blue collar and Avon has a tongue out. So here's a little... Hey! Again, a little interaction, a little sniffing. I love it. It's polite. It's friendly. It's the way dogs do it. But whenever it's too intense, whenever it lingers too long... Okay, so now see, Clue is running away and Zoe's pursuing. So I'm going to stop this. Hey! And I'm going to stop it in a way that the way Zoe was pursuing Kalua is the way that I'm pursuing Zoe to stop... Hey! So now I'm not going to let any play. So if you notice that, that face-to-face, -face, that would have been play if I wouldn't have stopped it. So because I'm serious about no play right now... I'm following. Hey. So now you could almost, I believe you could almost feel it through the, the, the video here of how the, it, it's quieter, it's softer, you know. Here's Shadow over there. Shadow! What are you doing, buddy? Good boy. Look at that trot. I love the trot. Good boy. We have Augie over here. We have Mavis. We have Spike. Zoe. Hey. We have Colden. We have Carly. We have uh, Red Bull. We have Blue. We have um, Shadow. We have Blue. We have Avon here. And uh, Bella was asleep when I let him out. So Bella's asleep in the crate. And then I had somebody overlooking at a dog, so we have Ricky that's uh, in this room here. So I'll let them out in a little while, get the whole back pack together. Anyway guys, just an update. Again, let's go ahead and check it out again.
tired. So when he walks away, I don't say anything. When he starts facing the water, oh no, when I turn the hose on, he goes to drink. Look at that. So again, exercises shouldn't take two hours. Exercises should take until you get what you want out of the dog. I wanted, uh, I didn't want him to react to the hose. I turned the hose on, I watched. He circled around, started coming in. I said, hey, he went back, which is what I wanted. So I stopped, hey, and then he went to water. So th there's no reaction, so the, the exercise is over. That exercise took like 20 seconds. If you could do 10 exercises, 15, 20 exercises with different things that you're having issues with throughout the day that take a minute, two minutes, you're spending almost no time in training but you're influencing the dog because you're controlling the results. And what do I mean by that? It's, uh, he's calm when we're done with the, the activity. Is he calm now? Hell no. But he wasn't reactive to the hose. Hey! So when he's jogging around aimlessly, I will go ahead and get in his mind and stop him. Hey! And then once he stops, I move on. So what happens is He'll move slower. Because that momentum that's carrying that excitement is not able to grow. Because I'm breaking up, I'm breaking that, that momentum up into different, uh, hey, hey, go, go. And again, if he, he was, sorry, I started to walk this way, as he walked that way, then as soon as I walked this way, he turned around, go. So now I'm going to back him off because when I walked that way and he was walking this way, he was going right back to where I just told him to leave from. Now, do, once he's stable, do I care if he's under there? No, but if he's stable, he won't be under a staircase challenging a boundary. It just won't happen. So look at his tail now. Look at the ears. Look at him. It's windy. It's breezy today. So he's, he's enjoying this environment. He's enjoying the... the Nature. This is what's going to kind of set him free. And what I mean by that is he's not going to be nervous. He's not going to be dominant. He's going to be able to just not have not have a, a controlling role in life anymore. And that's going to be a, a burden taken off his shoulders rather than something that he has to endure because a human won't stand up for whatever situation. Hey! So here's Carly. Aha. Uh -huh. Go. Go. So when Carly's like that, at the gate, sniffing like she's, she's probably seeing something out here. I don't know what she's seeing. But I don't want her at the gate. I don't want her to focus because we hate two words. We hate focus. We hate intensity. So if she's focusing intensely, i definitely going to break that up. See the intensity? Hey! Easy. So now I back off because she, I had her total attention there. Come on, guys. Vinny! So then I called dogs out. You know, again, we just got Vinny, I think, three days ago. Nervous face, exci super excited. How excited is <laughs> She's perfect. So now we have Blue meeting Red Bull, who Red Bull I know is a playful dog. Hey! So I don't want to play right now, so I'm not going to let that... that uh, Meeting intensify. Into play. Hey. Easy. Spike. Spike's one of my favorites. Avon. Avon. Oh, good boy. Got that tongue out. Kalua. Good old dog. Cold in. Uh, it's going to be coming off next year, so. So I get a shadow with the plants. So now my presence is able to back him off of the plant. And so now I back off. See, I don't want to say hey, and I don't want to use a leash, and I don't want to do all these things. But there's an order. And the reason I'm going through this order is so that way I have success at different levels. And so that way I can realistically understand what level we're at. So anyway, folks, my 15 minutes is about up. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel. And I hope you all have a great day. Peace.